It seems I may have underestimated you, Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. I have Ouroboros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another collectible review. Today I'm very excited to finally be able to review the Resident Evil 5 Albert Wesker Midnight version from Hot Toys. Now, this is a figure I've been wanting to review for at least two years, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. Uh, it seems so very fitting now, as we're now in Resident Evil's 20th anniversary. Uh, we've got the remaster of Resident Evil Zero coming out next week with the added Wesker mode on it. And uh, hopefully we're going to get some uh, information and footage soon of the upcoming uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. But putting that aside, let's get straight on with the figure itself. Okay, so I'm going to go through the details of this figure from top to bottom as I've got him displayed here now. Then we're going to have a little look at the box and some of the many accessories he comes with and then we'll set him up in a few different poses at the end. So let me zoom out to give you a full look at this figure on display. So as you can see he is quite a big figure. As I've already said he is one sixth scale. I might have to have the camera in my hand as I'm going along with this review, at least uh, at the top part of him, just because he is so tall. So let me move him around and we will start at Wesker's head. Now as a uh, standard for Hot Toys, they produce probably some of the uh, most best look and accurate detail figures I have uh, ever seen. This is only the second uh, Hot Toys that I do own, uh, the first being the uh, T-800 uh, Technor uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger from uh, Terminator 1. But uh, this one is just as equally impressive. The face on Wesco is, it is essentially the exact same face as he appears in Resident Evil 5. They have got it uh, down to perfection. I will try to zoom in as close as I can without it uh, blurring. But you can just see there the face on that. That is that is Albert Wesker, and that is incredible. The detail, the attention to detail on Hot Toys, it never uh, fails to impress me. Try to turn him around as carefully as I can. You can see the uh, the shading elements on his hair is uh, incredible. Now you might notice that it's got like a sort of bit here where it looks a little bit loose, and I'll explain and show that in uh, a little bit. Come out a bit just so his uh, clarity clears up. Now the glasses do come off. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to risk doing it with one hand, so let me just pop the camera back down and I'll take them off with both. Something this uh, expensive, you want to make sure you uh, treat it to the best of its quality. Alright, now we'll come back up and now you can have a look at Wesker without his glasses. Now that just looks uh, really, that is really impressive. I mean, that is, that is Albert Wesker. Okay, now we'll move on down to his um, upper body. So as you can see, he's got his signature um, black attire. I'm not really sure uh, what type of... Um, uh, top you class it as, it's got a like a zip up, um, it does completely zip down, you can take his uh, top off if you, if his top off sorry, if you uh, so wish so uh, maybe if you wanted to um, display him as he appears uh, towards the end of Resident Evil 5 um, where he's about to fuse with Ouroboros 
Now I have uh, already got a couple of accessories uh, equipped on Wesker as I've got them displayed here. The first being the uh, shoulder holster, as you can see going around both of his arms. Now you see him wearing this uh, in the first fight you have with him in uh, Resident Evil 5. And the uh, left uh, side of uh, the shoulder holster, or at least it will be Wesker's left side, I've got uh, his signature Samurai Edge handgun. Now I haven't uh, put anything uh, in the right side of his holster. If I turn him around you'll get a look at some of the details of the, uh, the holster and the back. And you can also see some of the absolutely incredible stitching job they've done on the uh, clothing of Wesker. So that is incredibly impressive and you can see a bit more of his uh, Samurai Edge handgun there. Coming to the arms, moving around that way, get a bit more. And it might be picking up, I'm not that sure, but he does have uh, veins down his arms as well, which uh, makes him look uh, even more lifelike uh, appearing. Um, he does come with multiple sets of hands. You've got ones where he can hold things and ones where his fists are clenched. And here, I've got him holding the... Um, uh, what's this magnum called again? Uh, the SNW um, M500, that's it. Which um, I believe is the strongest gun on the game, uh, second only to the rocket launcher, obviously. And you can see some of the uh, absolutely incredible detail of the uh, magnum itself. That is very impressive. Coming down to his other arm. I have uh, his hand on this one in a clenched uh, fist, that looks really cool. And I have put the watch on him already as well, he does come with the watch accessory. You don't have to have that on him. So that looks really cool. Coming down to his lower body now. I'll get a good look at his belt. Now it does actually look like the belt can come off. I haven't actually tried uh, that, uh, mostly because I um, figure it could well be quite uh, complicated to get back uh, done up again. And if we move lower, you can see some of the really awesome stitching job they've done on um, his trousers. Just the glass is getting in the way there. I will show them as well in a moment. So you can see he's, he does uh, even have pockets on these trousers and they are actually pockets as well. They do have, uh, you can get your finger in there and even put stuff in there if you want. He has pockets on both sides of his trousers and obviously on the back part as well. So that goes to show you the attention to detail that Hot Toys put with their figures. I'm sure anyone watching this video probably already knows the uh, very high level quality Hot Toys uh, produce anyway. But um, even still, it still really makes... Uh, makes me shocked just uh, how much attention they really do put in there okay let me put the camera down and we'll come down to his boots now these are a sort of different black looking uh, compared to his trousers these are sort of more in a matte finish now it does have a zip there but I don't actually think you can use that I think that is just uh, painted on. Yeah, it is a piece of metal there, but I don't think you can unzip that. I don't think you'd want to do that anyway. The boots do come off if you so wish, but um, I don't really think see the need to do that. And to the back part, and then I will eventually uh, show the base that he comes with. As you can already see a bit of it already there holding him up. And to his other boot, if I lift him up, show you the uh, the bottom of the boot. So you can even see even like the bottom parts of the boots, which you won't even see as you've got them on display. They've uh, got it detailed, all the bits around it, as you would uh, see on uh, an actual normal boot. Now you don't have to have him standing with the stand if you so wish, he does stand on his own. It might be a little bit to get him stand on my own on this one because the uh, 
this thing I've got uh, doing my review on, it's not entirely flat, it's got a little bit of a curve, but now he does stand up. Okay, so let's have a look at the base. So, as you can see, it says Albert Wesker Midnight Version. This is pretty standard for a Hot Toys base. Um, most Hot Toys, at least from uh, around the 2010 era, sort of come with these sort of bases. It's essentially the exact same thing that I've got for my T800 Hot Toys, but obviously it says T800 on it. If I lift it up, you can see it says Biohazard 5. Uh, if you didn't know, in Japan, Resident Evil is called Biohazard. So, um, I do apologise for anyone watching this video who prefers the term Biohazard, but... Um, I will be using the uh, term Resident Evil. I think Resident Evil sounds uh, better anyway, in my opinion. It's just me. I do like the word biohazard, but um. And on the bottom, we've got a Capcom logo, 2009. All rights reserved. Uh, this hook part on the stand, it can uh, be extended to go up and down. Basically, you just squeeze it, and then it goes up and down like that. Depending on how you've displayed your figure, you might have him in sort of Wesker in a different pose where he's like kneeling down, so you might need to lower it. Oh, and I'll show you quickly the glasses because I haven't done that. I've taken them off him. Let me see if I can get it to focus as best as I can. Put the hand there, that might do it. There we go. So you can see the glasses, Wesker's signature glasses. Looks really cool. something so small is still very very cool okay now before I go on to the box and accessories I want to show you what I think is one of the coolest things about this figure and that is that he has light up eyes uh, for those that don't know about Albert Wesker at the end of Resident Evil 1 he becomes infected and the uh, future releases of the Resident Evil games he appears with sort of like snake like eyes that can glow red and Hot Toys have uh, put that effect in both the Midnight version and Stars version of their Wesker figures and it looks really really cool now um, when I spoke earlier about the back part of his head because there's sort of like a groove there which you can just make out this part actually just comes off and that is where you stick the batteries in to get the light to come on now the switch for it is a little bit tricky to get to it's at the very back part of his neck so you have to uh, bend his head forward to get to the switch and with fingers it's quite hard so the best way I do it is with a needle and you can do this so much easier you just put it in there and you just flick it so let me show you what he looks like with his eyes lit up all right, and here he is. Now, how cool does that look? That is really cool. How menacing does that make Wesker look? And let me show you with the light out. Wow. Always impresses me every time I uh, turn it on for myself, just how cool it looks. Okay, so for those curious, here is what he looks like uh, with his lights turned on while wearing the sunglasses. Now, it's not really picking it up that well uh, on the camera, but in person you can definitely see the light still coming through the sunglasses. Obviously not as strong without the sunglasses, but if I turn the light out, uh, you might be able to see it a little better there. Okay, so let me do a quick once over the box to show you guys. Um, the box is probably about 15 inches in height, so it's a pretty big box. We'll start at the top. This is uh, their 1 6 scale fully posable collectible figure. Coming down, you've got an illustration of uh, Albert Wesker from Resident Evil 5. Biohazard 5 logo, Albert Wesker Midnight version. And on the bottom, you've got the Hot Toys logo and video game masterpiece. Turning the box around, nothing really on that side, just the illustration continuing. The back, and go to the top there, you've got a uh, couple of the other Hot Toys characters that were released for this figure set. You've got Chris Redfield and Sheva Olimar. Uh, coming down, you've got a little bit of a bio here for Albert Wesker. Uh, his age is 48 in Resident Evil 5. Uh, it says his height's unknown, but I'm pretty sure there are some official releases that Capcom have done, uh, such as the Resident Evil Archives books, where you can actually find out his height. 
Uh, 191 pounds, sex obviously male. It says organisation unknown there, and that might be either because um, uh, Hot Toys didn't have full uh, information for the video game Resident Evil 5, or they didn't want to put uh, spoilers uh, on this box, but we obviously find out that he is actually controlling uh, Tricell, so it really should have uh, Tricell as organisation on there. But as I said, they might have left that out to avoid spoilers for the game. And you've got a bit more of a bio here, so Albert Wesker is the former leader of the Raccoon City Police Department Special Forces Unit known as STARS, as well as a former member of Umbrella's Information Department. Wesker is calm, highly intelligent and possesses keen decision-making skills. Wesker exploited STARS for his own gang in what later came to be known as the Mansion Incident. Following this incident, it is believed that Wesker went into hiding but continued to manipulate events related to the fallout of the Mansion Incident. Wesker encountered Chris Redfield again at an underground laboratory in Antarctica, which I believe was six months after Resident Evil 2. But the superhuman abilities Wesker had gained from exposure to the T-Virus meant Chris could barely hold his own in a fight. That is the events of Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, on the right hand side, I'm not going to read all this out. You've got information of the producer, executive producer, and obviously the sculptors of this amazing figure. It looks like it's got actually several sculptors. Head sculptor, head art direction, clothes production, paint control. So yes, yeah, very cool. The box, uh, you might notice it's got sort of like a different texture here. It's got a sort of a matte finish. You can, you can hear it as I rub my finger on there. And sort of a smooth finish here. Now, it, the box is actually magnet. It has a magnet in it, I should say, sorry. It opens like that. There's nothing that actually sticks the box together. But if you put it like that, it closes like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I open it. Obviously the figure's not there anymore. Now, this is where all the accessories are. Or most of the accessories, I should say. Um, I've removed it. It's in a plastic bit that slots in there which is right here so I've already removed that and you've got a pretty cool illustration there of um, the hangar aboard the uh, the ship which is the uh, pretty much the second from last boss fight you have with Albert Wesker so that's pretty cool uh, as you open it here this is where you would uh, obviously see the figure if you bought it now uh, you've got an instruction sheet there. I don't really think I need to show you that. Um, basically just shows you how to uh, put the batteries in the back of his head. Uh, in there you do have the um, a couple of sets of uh, extra hands such as the clenched fist or the holding fist as well as an extra ball joint in case you uh, break one on um, your Hot Toys figure. And here are Albert Wesker's accessories, and as you can see, he comes with a lot of accessories. Now the ones that are missing in here are the ones that are already equipped on the uh, Hot Toys Wesker. So let me start at the top here and show you. He comes with a rocket launcher, you've got a machine gun, you have the L Hawk Magnum, which has a really little cool laser sight uh, bit at the bottom there. You've got uh, a couple of uh, magazine rounds, or handgun rounds, whichever you prefer to call them. You have the Hydra shotgun, which he uses in the uh, Mercenaries game on Resident Evil 5. You have an absolute huge ass knife there, which has a, a little case there above it, which you can put the knife in. Uh, this little foam bit here is what his uh, wristwatch comes in. That's already on the figure. Uh, that's where the shoulder holster is. And here is his phone and protector for the phone, so he can make phone calls to Excella. Now some people uh, sometimes question why exactly does Wesker have all these guns and why does he use guns in the game when he's obviously such a powerful uh, inhuman character that he is. And the reason for that is, is because um, Wesker deems his opponents uh, not worthy enough to use his powers on. Which is why he will always use guns, weapons, magnums, knives. He'll only use his powers as sort of like a, a last resort, um, only if he needs to, because he feels that his opponents um, are just not worthy enough. Okay, so the only part that comes with this figure that I haven't shown you yet, that is of course Albert Wesker's signature trench coat that he wears towards the end of Resident Evil 5. Let me show you a closer look. Uh, it's a really cool detailed coat. It's got really awesome stitching details that you'd actually expect on a, a coat itself. As you can see the inside bits of it here. You have got buttons going all the way down this side. You might just be able to make them up. Yep, yeah, one there. You see it goes down. 
on the back part to the neck it's made of the same material that his uh, trousers are made of um, the wrists have a cool little buckle thing going all the way around them now I wouldn't recommend him wearing the trench coat while having the uh, shoulder holster and the uh, watch on him mostly because it's a little bit fiddly and a little bit tight and you might find yourself uh, damaging the coat so I really wouldn't recommend that and you can't really see the shoulder holster uh, when he's wearing the coat anyway so um, it's kind of pointless so my recommendation is either have one or the other him wearing it so that's looking at the coat uh, on its own let's see what Wesker looks like wearing it so here he is guys, Albert Wesker, fully equipped with trench coat and knife. So let me zoom out and show you what he looks like, completely wearing his really awesome trench coat. Now you don't get as much uh, flexibility in his arms and uh, sort of the shoulder area while wearing the trench coat. So you might struggle a little bit with trying to uh, pose him a little bit more while wearing the trench coat. But regardless of that, just how cool does he look wearing that while holding that knife? That is really cool. Okay, so now I've got him in perhaps his most iconic pose from Resident Evil 5. I really do love this pose and this pose is pretty much how I have him uh, on display uh, all year long. Um, you know, you don't need the guns or accessories for this pose. It's just his left arm behind his back, his right hand up doing the taunt. I really do think this pose is really cool. And, um, well, that's pretty much it for this uh, review, guys. Um, in terms of what I recommend this figure, I could not recommend it enough. Um, it's by far the best piece of Albert Wesker merchandise you can get hold of. Um, of course you've got the Stars version of Hot Toys uh, Albert Wesker as well, which is really cool, but I think this one, um, this one's slightly better than that one, just with how the dark look to it, it just looks really cool. Um, I'd, say, I'd go far as saying it's it's probably one of the best pieces of Resident Evil merchandise you can get hold of out there. I mean, Hot Toys uh, do not disappoint. In terms of Albert Wesker as a character himself, he's always been one of my uh, favourite villains of all times. And that's not just from the popularity of Resident Evil 5. I've always been a fan of the character since the 1996 game came out on the PlayStation 1. I've been a fan of the series since then and I'm one of those rare Resident Evil fans who actually enjoys the old school Resident Evils and the new school Resident Evils uh, just as much. Yes, there are people out there that do exist that are like that. Uh, unfortunately though, these figures have become incredibly rare and valuable over the seven years they've been available I say rare I mean if you was to go on Amazon on eBay you would de you would definitely find some on there however I had a little look on Amazon yesterday and I think there's one on there for 460 pound which is absolutely insane compared to what I paid for mine so the value is doubled trebled probably over the years and I can only see them going out it's a discontinued line uh, Hot Toys don't make these anymore so to get one new is even more uh, harder to get hold of so um, if you've got one of these in your collection uh, definitely count yourself lucky and um, you own one of the best pieces of Resident Evil merchandise you can get out there so uh, yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video all the way through the end I know I've uh, rambled on quite a little bit here but um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video Let's very much look forward to uh, Resident Evil's 20th anniversary this year and see what Capcom pull out of the bag for us. Uh, if you like this video then I'd also really appreciate a thumbs up. That will help this video out and uh, channel out a lot. I don't expect this uh, video to be very popular. I didn't make it to be popular. I mean, this figure's been out years and I'm sure other people have reviewed this many times. But um, regardless of that, thank you guys very much for watching this video and see you on the next review.